let's try and subscribe to our new observable. And again, the, the goal of an observable is kind of to prepare some code or prepare something you want to execute. So in our case, we've made an observable that want to call a REST API and get some data back, map that data into a custom array whenever you subscribe. So let's try and do that. So when I go into my app component now, I have an error because right now I'm not returning an array of customers anymore. That was what I did before. So I'm just going to remove that. Right now I'm just returning an observable and that's what I'm saying. You can actually on an observable, you can do something called subscribe. There we go. So now we are explaining to the system that we want to now listen for when you're done executing the code, doing whatever you need to do, and then you'll give me information, right? So what we'll sus subscribe here is at some point, we'll get something back. And that again, it will be a Lambda expression, we'll get a model back, or we'll get JSON back, we'll get whatever you want to put in there. We can put in customers like this, that makes more sense. And then when we get the customers back, we can now use that to actually do something. So in the end here, I'll just put in curly brackets dot end to explain that what's going to happen when I get the customers back, is I'm actually going to set the local customers, this.customers, into the new customers I just got back. There we go. Now we're actually done. So now the code runs again. We're going to have an issue here because there's something called course, and I'll explain that later. But let's just stay with this thing right here because this is, I know this is scary, scary, scary stuff. It's, it's kind of strange the first time you see it. But as you start working with this, it makes a lot of sense. So again, remember that when I do this, let me just try and put this in multiple line. Let me try and put in some comments. When I do this, I actually only ask for a bunch of code I can execute. So that's kind of what the observable does for me, right? So I'm just preparing for grabbing a bunch of code that I want to execute at some point. Now, as soon as I call the subscribe right here, I'm actually executing the code and I'm execute what the executing the code like this. And I'm also explaining to the observable that when you're done, let me know in this, uh, let me know in the subscribe below, right? So give me information right here. When you're done, give me something back. And in our case, we know that's going to be a list of customers because that's kind of what we're sending back in this observable right here because we define what it will return. So that's why the system will say, okay, he's coming back with a list of customers at some point. So when he's coming back, I'll just put it in here for him, right? And then you'll take those customers and you'll just put them locally right here. And then it will be presented. Now this isn't running yet, so don't get too sad if you try to run this. In the next lesson, I'll try and explain why it's not running, but it has a problem with something called course, C-O-R-S. Let's have a look at the next lesson. See you next time.